accueillir si vous voulez. Uh, we're here today to talk about perpetual movement, especially in construction industry, because our industry is in perpetual movements since, you know, the dawn of humanity. Construction, it's a synonym of mess, especially in French. And we are here in a famous school when we learn how to deal with construction, how to master complexity. We learn to master each project complexity, and sometimes almost as if each project was a prototype. And the problem with a prototype is that it never goes in production. And we know we have a problem with construction. In India, for example, by 2030, there will be 200,000, 200 million people living in cities. And now, they only have one third of the asset, the cities, infrastructure, energy infrastructure, they need for these people. So if within 12 years, they have to build houses, they receive have two thirds of the asset to be built. And today, they still struggle with low quality construction, insufficient infrastructure, and energy. What can we do about that? The so first thing we have to look at, it's not only a problem of developing countries. Right? It's a problem humanity is facing at a global level. And actually, you can see these two curves. It's the construction is, and productivity of construction is slowly growing since half a century for many reasons, but it's the case, and McKinsey is telling us. And on the same time, you have the global population this is, that is growing really, really fast. We are now 7.5 billion. We already struggle with construction and will still be, by 2050, 10 billion on Earth. So, how can we master construction to make sure we have a decent home for everyone on Earth? So, this is our key challenge because, as humanity, everywhere we go, we build our environment. We need cities to live, to work, to play, infrastructure to connect people and places, and energy to build and run our cities. Now we know construction in one, one of the latest industries that haven't succeeded in its digital transformation. McKinsey told us since a few years, we are the latest in digital industry just before hunting and agriculture. So what happened? I mean, we construction industry invented project management for being infrastructure projects. So what happened? We think that digital transformation, technology, will be the answer, right? We look for technology to help us reinvent construction and have this magic leap forward in productivity and quality to help us match those construction needs. And actually, it's, it's good. It's a good point, but it's not the entire answer. So um, I'm David Vautrin, and I co-founded 10 years ago with uh, Jimmy and Geoffroy Luchart, a company to help construction industry reinvent itself. And since almost 10 years, we are working with thousands of projects worldwide, thousands of people, and uh, they told us what is needed to reinvent construction. What they told us, and what I want to share with you today, is the change of the construction industries will come from people first. And technology is second. Maybe you've seen this video. So this is a robot from Stanley Robotics. It's called Atlas. And what you see, it's, for me, just mind-blowing. I mean, a robot running in the natural environment is just crazy innovation. And the thing is, in construction, we can think of, wow, what if I can automate construction, right? What if I can make difficult work done by robots? We were talking with a construction worker on the field. And we were asking him, what kind of technology do you require to change the way you work every day? And you know the answer? As simple as that. I need an email. I don't have one. How many of you have an email for studies or professional life? Raise your hand. Yeah, all of us. 
and not in construction, you see? In construction, you can have companies doing billions of turnover, having thousands of employees, and part of these employees doesn't have this basic technology that enables communication, collaboration, and even uh, belonging to a company. So we're here to solve that. And the second thing we learn when we, when we work in construction, if we were on Earth, is that you have 80% of the construction workforce that works on the field. And the problem is, all the software ecosystem, the technology is built for offices, right? So how do we do to bring technology to the field? And change of the construction industry will come through the field. We can't just ignore this population. So there is good news. Uh, construction workers everywhere, at every level, every kind of players in these industries, they love what they do, they are keen to change. And as we've been lucky enough to work with thousands of projects worldwide, people at every level of company told us, teach us what is needed to successfully transform the industry. So you need three things. That's simple. A product, great product for field people, to put people first and not technology. And third, you need data to, to enable collective intelligence. So the first thing is product. And say product, you see paper. This is one of the most modern projects in a modern country in Asia. So a photo was shot one month ago. And what you see is basically tons of paper. What's wrong? How can we innovate? It's time to move to digital. So when you need something digital, the good news is you have like yourself, like you'll be in your internships and your new jobs, you have digital native generation, people born with technology in their hands, people using technology every single day. And they teach us what is needed. What they need on a professional basis, it's a mobile first solution, not for a PC, but for a small device, a smartphone they have in hands every day. It has to be powerful because they, want, they have a large amount of data to, to, to gather with them on the field. They want it to be flexible, to follow their business processes and environment. And most of all, they want it to be super easy to use. Why? Because on a daily basis, they are used to it. I mean, we're using Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, WeChat. This software is pretty rich and super simple to use. And this is what's needed for the industry. So once yeah. you have that, you say, okay, it's great. We have great technology. We put people first. It's good. And we can win this digital transformation and do this magic leap in productivity. Actually, you're wrong. We miss something. We need accompaniment because I am the first to resist to change the way I work every day. And we all resist to change. It's like natural. I have one personal experience I want to share with you. A few years ago, I was used to take photos and videos with my smartphone, and I decided to innovate using technology. So I bought a camera, a super camera. And actually, it was too bur burdensome for me. I have to ex uh, enhance my computer to be able to run the software. I have to, build, to buy an expensive software, a complicated one. I have to watch dozens of tutorials to learn how to master it. And I took it back to the store and I kept to my smartphone. And the lesson I learned from that is it's easy to drop an opportunity of change if you're alone with technology, right? So if you have technology, you need to accompany people to make them sure you follow them until they fully embrace it and they make it natural in their daily work. And once you have that, you can leverage the power of data because, you know, today, all data of construction is available, right? It's already existing, but where is it? It's stuck in the Excel jungle. You go on a project, you collect experience, it's in your spreadsheets, in your printed papers, it's a ton of paper we've seen earlier, and at the end, it's in boxes, it's in Excel files, it's lost in the Excel jungle. And no one 
can have a clear vision of the expertise we build project after project. So this expertise is somewhere, but no one can see it. So imagine a technology that can enable this data collection, this data gathering, so that we can master construction knowledge and, and allow augmented intelligence. This would be a, a key also to go way further in construction improvement as we need for humanity. And uh, this is what's needed, and this is the key message I want uh, to share with you. Put people first and technology second. Elon Musk himself said so a few weeks ago while trying to fix productivity issue on Tesla factory. He said, I quote, excessive automation was a mistake. Humans are underrated. So please don't underrate humans. Please place them first. This is, I mean, the key learnings we have to take today is when I want to innovate, I want to start by myself first. And when I try to innovate on my next project, I don't look for technology first. I look for how do I make my teams embrace technology, my teams and my partners, to make sure everyone is going to embrace it. If you don't do it, you're going to select a software and 5% of your team is going to use it and your global productivity won't go very high. You may, you may gain 20%, but you need 100%. So how do we, how do, we do that? This is the key for, for this. Now it's your turn. It's time to change the way we build. We start with ourselves, never settle. Be this uh, perpetual movement we want to see in the world to build for the entire humanity. It's your time to be uh, the change to come. Thank you.